What is up guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on an effect that I did um, for my most recent edit for a base of Boy. And it's pretty easy, it's just this color explosion after this shot right here. Just take a look real quick. And as you can see, just some colors and like a particle particle looking stuff. And it's pretty easy to do, I'll show you, show you guys an example right here, just like that. And it looks best with the uh, like a bullet wave coming out of the gun. And I already have a tutorial on that, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. So first things first, let me just solo these layers so you can see the actual effect itself. It's pretty easy. Let me just delete the effect. And what I want to do is at the shot, duplicate your clip, and then trim it up. And what you're going to do is go ahead and get Sapphire Quad Tone on there. And go to Mix of Source and change it to 0.4. And the most you can do is 1. So it's like basically 40%. So 0.4. Then color three, you can make it whatever color you want, but what you want ideally is like this color to be the same as this one, and this one would be the same as that one. So three and one and two and zero go together. So what you're gonna do is let's just use a pink for an example. So these two are pink, and then color two, make it like blue, why not? And you can play with these settings, whatever, it's all up to you. So as you can tell, it looks pretty crappy, but we can fix this just by going to blended modes and changing it to soft light. Okay, now it looks a little bit better. What I'm going to do now is just going to blur it a little bit just because it looks a little bit too harsh to the eye and just looks a little gross. So what we're going to do is just blur it. So let's make it like, I don't know, maybe 8 pixels. There we go. The blur radius 8. Okay, cool. So that looks a little bit better as you can tell, you know, just a little more glowy looking. Now what I'm going to do is type in looks and I'm just going to apply some chromatic aberration from the looks. So go ahead and apply that and you can just make this like 5 and negative 5 and it just adds a little bit of effect to it as you can tell it makes a tiny bit of a difference but not too much actually if you apply it before the look before the blur uh, a little bit yeah it makes a tiny bit of a difference if you just look in the bottom corner and compare yeah it looks a little bit better so now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and type in glow and actually before we apply the glow we're just gonna go to the actual clip itself and hit S and we're gonna scale this up and this is the actual effect itself. As you can see, like the more we scale it, like you like the colors from like the map and the mountains and all that that come into hand, and it just looks a little bit cooler. So maybe like around like three, like 350, 370 is like ideal. So now we're gonna apply our glow, and as you can see, it looks really gross with the glow. So we can just fix this by going to the threshold and make it 80%. And now it looks a bit cleaner, and you can just play with the radius to make it 20 something like that and just yeah just play with it whatever and it just makes it you know a little bit nicer a little more color in there so now what we're gonna do oh sorry it's not an overlay it's supposed to be on soft light there we go then what we're gonna do is go to opacity and the very beginning you're just gonna keyframe it 100 the very end you're gonna keyframe it to zero essentially that's about it you can add whatever you want to it you know you can add more like blurs you can add a vector blur I know Tyrant uses a lot of vector blur in his head. It looks really cool. Or you can use directional blur if you know how to use it properly. If not, just I would you know stay away from it. Just because if you don't know how to use it properly and like use it on angles and stuff, it just looks disgusting. But anyways, so that's about it for the effect. This is what it looks like all together. It looks pretty cool. Just a cool color effect. And yeah, that's really about it, guys. I'll just do a preview real quick for you guys. And in the meantime, let me just talk about something real quick. So. I hit 9k subs not too long ago. I think it was a week or two ago. But um, anyways, I didn't like. I haven't really been active lately, and that's like, it is my fault. But like, I don't know. I just was kind of getting bored of just editing the same COD over and over again. But now that Advanced Warfare is coming out, I don't know. I think I'm gonna be a lot more motivated to do edits and tutorials because there'll be like new things in game that you can like implement into like cool effects and stuff. Like I know in Black Ops 2 for motion tracks, some people use like RCXD, like Nordic did that a few times. And then, you know, I don't know, there's just cool stuff like that I, that I can implement into the game. So yeah, I'll probably be more active in like a month. And then here's the effect. Really simple, really clean. And then lastly, I made a Selfie. And I just want to say, if you guys want to buy anything with a Selfie, go ahead. It's all pretty cheap. It's like 5 to $10 for like most of the things. And uh, I'm going to add more things once Advanced Warfare drops because I'll have like some ideas for effects from like, you know, the new advanced looking stuff. I don't know. But anyways, I'll, I'll add some stuff in the near future. 
So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Pretty quick tutorial on pretty simple but really cool looking effect. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later.